Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Michi Makes Up. Today we're gonna do a haul video and happy Mardi Gras. Why not, right? I've got this cute, beautiful, blingy mask that I wanted to show you guys uh, just to amp up the festivities. This is my first haul video. I happen to have gotten some things in February that I am very, very excited to share with you guys. Uh, I don't know about you, but I love watching other people's haul videos. I love giving gifts and I love receiving them. And a haul video is kind of like, what did you get? Like, show me, unbox it, show me. What are the decisions you made leading up to you deciding to put that in your card? Um, so let's get started. So I had to take off the mask because it was getting really hot and I didn't want the makeup underneath to kind of melt before we finished. So I didn't think I would have the mask on the entire time, but that lasted a uh, very short, <laughs> very short amount of time. Um, the first product I wanted to show you is none other than the Pat McGrath Divine Rose Mothership 7 palette. This was first released in November of last year, completely sold out. Uh, it was first a limited release, sold out, and then became available for a very, very short amount of time on Pat McGrath's website, was also sold out. She decided to restock it for Valentine's Day, and that's when I snagged this beauty here. Uh, I am wearing shadows. My look today, I am wearing shadows from this palette. And I've done a couple of looks since I got it in the mail last week. Um, I love it a lot. I love it very, very much. Um, you know, obviously when I saw it, I loved all the colors. I watched a bunch of videos, reviews and tutorials on it. I'm like, oh, this is great. Like when it comes out, I'm definitely gonna get it. And then now that I finally have it, got a chance to play around and try out some of the colors, some of the shades. It really not only lives up to all the hype and my expectations, but just goes beyond. Um, I have three shades on today and really they blend effortlessly. So the quality of the shadows are there, but also how they complement each other. It's just so beautiful. It's just everything about it is so beautiful. So um, ahead of this haul video, I actually, did a review and tutorial of it, which I'm gonna put up above and then I'll link down below as well. Um, if you guys are interested, please go and check it out. The second item, a smaller item, but nonetheless something I was excited to get is this Real Techniques, and I tossed the packaging already, but this Real Techniques blender sponge, or I guess you don't call it a blender, uh, Real Techniques makeup sponge. Yes, uh, I have a video coming on you know how I use a sponge compared to the Beauty Blender. So I got this from Target. This was four ninety nine. Nope, this was five ninety nine. Yes, this was five ninety nine. Um, so that is available as well. You're gonna see it up on top, and then of course in the description below. With my Target run, I also got some makeup wipes. This is the Burt's Bees Micellar Makeup Removing Towelettes. Three in one, removes makeup, cleanses, and hydrates for all skin types. 99.5% natural origin with nutrient-rich botanicals. Comes with 30 pre-moistened towelettes. Uh, I have used this uh, a couple of times, actually. I was on a trip last week and um, did not bring any liquid makeup remover, so I just bought these with me. And I would say it worked pretty well. Um, does take a bit more patience to use it to remove, you know, eye makeup, mascara, liquid eyeliner, and that. But in terms of just taking um, foundation, concealer, and bronzer off, uh, there weren't really any issues. And I think I think it it does hydrate your skin. Um, it's been a long time since I've used these um, makeup removing wipes. So I can't really, at least not in recent memory, compare to what I've used. Um, I will say that they perform pretty well and I will get them again once I've gone through them. Now, obviously, if I continue to use them and maybe I break out because the cleaning's not as deep, I'll make some adjustments to my routine here. Uh, this was $4.99. Yes, $4.99 in the pack. I also got the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. 
um, that has hyaluronic acid, is creaseless, soft matte, oil free. I have been using this for the past two weeks here and so far I do really like the performance of it. I was using Tarte Shape Tape previously so I think the two are quite similar in terms of full coverage. Um, Jouer dries a bit faster than Tarte's and maybe even has like a touch more coverage is a bit thicker as well. So you do have to work quickly. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do a wear tag since this has been out for quite some time and there are quite a few videos of, of the concealer. Um, I might at some point as I finish this one and I'll try some other ones and maybe some point later on we can do a comparison video of all like high coverage liquid concealers with doe foot applicators or something. Um, yeah, so maybe maybe later on that would be a good video to do. Uh, all right, so we've done all the things I've unpacked, unboxed already, but I wanted to save uh, one of the more exciting items. No, let me rephrase that. The Pat McGrath palette's pretty exciting. Um, the Jouer concealer, I was also really excited to, to get and start using. But let's just say this next item, I have not unpacked it from the box, so we will do that together. The package came today. This is from Beautylish. Now let's go ahead and open it, and you shall see what it is. Classic black sleeve. So I'm stuffing here. Let's take out this first piece. I don't know what it is. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know what this first part is. There's two things in here. Um, oh, and I also got a Bioderma serum sample. I actually use Bioderma's um, makeup remover. And that's actually my go-to. So maybe one of these days we can talk about what I use to remove my makeup. Um, obviously, as I was talking about before, I haven't used makeup remover wipes for some time. Um, I've actually been using Bioderma primer primarily. Um, so maybe we can do a video on that at some time. Like what's, what's my makeup removing routine? Okay, I already see what this is. Let me take it up from the plastic and bubble wrap. That didn't work. Go. Oh, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost. And so if I'm not mistaken, um, this is the re-release from 2018. I'm gonna have to do some research just to make sure because uh, as I was looking at these palettes, what was released, the two that was released last year, one of them was new and then the other one was a re-release from the previous year. Oh, gosh, I hope I'm not too off on that. But um, I'll do some research and definitely share share all of that information below um, but I've heard many many great things about the ambient uh, palettes and I can't wait to try them. Comes with a mirror in this kind of small compact very easy to take with you to travel and then in the palette you have um, two finishing powders these are the two finishing powders. This is a highlight, these are blushes, and this is a contour or bronzer. Um, I can't wait to use them. I have not used a pressed, yeah, I guess you, yeah, I guess these would be pressed powders, but I've not used a compact, powders in a compact to um, top over my makeup to kind of, um, seal the look, right? If you want your makeup to last throughout the day, you definitely want to put some sort of powder on top of your concealer foundation to set it. That's right, that's the word I'm looking for, to set it. Uh, and through my modeling experiences, through television filming, that is 
an essential step. You, you do not want to go out on set to do whatever you need to do without setting your makeup. And finishing powder is like the most basic thing you can do. It's the thing you do to set your makeup. Um, and then on top of that, there's also the finishing lock-in sprays that I also like. Um, but all that to say, I don't have a ton of experience using um, these, you know, pressed powders. So uh, I definitely do a video on this to share my experience. Um, I think a lot of you guys who are, you know, who plays with makeup, you've seen a lot of videos on this. I don't know that there's a whole lot that I could elaborate on um, other than just sharing my personal experience with you on how uh, I would use this. Um, I know a lot of people have said the only um, maybe downside other than maybe like the packaging, how this year around it seems cheaper because this sort of chrome finish isn't extended to cover all the back part of the palette. Um, and then the other thing is these are generally smaller. So I think there are some challenges using a big fluffy brush to dip it in there and not, <laughs> and not accidentally get some blush on there when you meant to just dip it in the center here. So that'll be interesting. Um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the second and the final thing that I got, pretty lightweight, ah! pretty lightweight. Oh, you know what, just kidding, this is just stuffing, or here. Ah, I have waited months for this, and if you have been on the lookout for these brushes to be restocked, can you guess? Kind of brushes they are but if you've been waiting and you got these as well i am so happy for you um if you have been waiting for individuals of this set to be restocked um i heard that is coming very soon like within maybe a week or two um so anyways very exciting but it's good to know that these brushes are not limited edition the creator has said so herself so if you didn't get these and you want the set, they will eventually come back in stock. Okay, are we ready? Let's do it. There is no box. I've come to learn these don't come in a separate box. I'm okay with that. There you go. This is the Sonia G Sky Eye Set brushes. Let's unwrap them one by one. These definitely need their own video where I'm like testing them for the first time. Um, these are all made in Japan and um, on here it says Kumano Fude, which is, uh, these are made in Kumano, Japan. So this is the crease brush and I am in need of a better crease brush. Uh, when I do the video on these brushes, we're gonna look at exactly why that is, but I've been using the same crease brush for a long time and <laughs> it's nowhere near the quality of this brush. Um, yeah. Okay. And then this is a fluffy, ooh, this is a fluffy shader brush or a blender. And then we have this is the mini booster. Uh, and from everything that I've read, it's really, really great in defining um, the outer corners of your eyes, this area here. So that's excellent. Also beats what I have right now. This is a total upgrade of all the brushes that I have or that I don't have. Um, I think this is a just a shader brush. Um, again, I'll, I'll, I'll do some digging here because I just don't remember off the top of my head. But this is a shader brush and this is undyed goat hair, which means you can use, that I've learned, uh, which you can use with cream products. And I do have a few cream products that I can use. But, you know, for a brush like this, you can use it to apply any cream products it doesn't have to be eyeshadow so um, I, I love it just having one of these brushes adds to 
the function of the whole set, how you can use it, because you can use it to apply concealer as well if you don't have um, a brush where you can do that with, or if you don't, um, if you don't want to apply it with a makeup sponge. And then this small shader brush here. Um, just a little stiffer, dense, you know, they're all pretty, these are pretty fluffy. This is dense, this is denser, followed by this one here, and this is fluffier. Um, this one comes to more of a point, so I think you can get a lot of precision in your eyeshadow application. Uh, a crease brush being fluffier makes sense too, and it does come to a, a dome shape. Uh, which I would imagine would only help to fit in the crease very nicely. And then this fluffy brush here, I can see it as a blending brush. So if you have any, if you applied some colors to your crease and you're like, well, I just need to blend it out more seamlessly, I can see you doing that. Um, because I haven't used any of Sonia G's brushes, I couldn't say you know how much pressure you would need um, judging from and everything that I've read how high quality these are I would imagine it just picks up maybe the right amount of product and with normal pressure you could just you know swipe swipe and it does exactly what you need that's what I'm hoping but we'll find out once I've had a chance to play with it um, my first impressions with these brushes are they're extremely lightweight it's like holding on to a hollow mechanical pencil yeah they're extremely lightweight and I think that's very that's an indication of quality uh, especially if you look at the handles I mean the handles have this sparkly um, application on top of that lacquered handle which I know costs more to make Oh, okay, well there are the names of the brushes, Jumbo Blender. And when you look at it without touching it, you would think, oh, like this might be kind of weighty because it, you know, the material materials look like they're high quality. Um, but when you hold your hand, you're like, this is lightweight. Uh, and, and that is a plus, that's definitely a plus. Uh, it's not like you're holding a paintbrush, right? Well, you are holding a paintbrush, but for your face. So um, you want it to be a light, easy uh, tool to have in your hand and that's pleasant to apply makeup. And I, I do think that that is part of Sonia G's philosophy um, in her products. So while I am probably between the Pat McGrath uh, Divine Rose palette and these brushes, I, I don't know which one to pick as the one I'm most excited about, but I would just say February is a great month. Um, got two of the products I've been waiting for for quite some time, and I can't wait to make more videos uh, with each of the products that I've shown to share with you guys. Um, so thanks for watching through my haul video. If this is something that you're interested in seeing more in the future, please definitely comment below. Um, I look forward to talking to you guys again.